guys and welcome to this week's video and this week I'm going to show you one of my collections that I have and this is my washi tape. I collected washi tape for the longest time when I started doing journaling so I've had some of these for a few years now and of course when the pound shop started doing washi tape I used to collect them like crazy. So I have a few rolls in here and after seeing the videos that are making the round the rounds at the moment which is the washi tape art challenge I thought I'd try that out and see whether or not I can make art with washi tape. I'd never really made art with washi tape before. Um, I have seen some amazing people who do resin with washi tape and I've seen people do washi tape art before but I've never really done that before because I've always used cut out paper um, when I wanted to make art with a different material. So I figured, you know what, it's time to try it out. So for me, I decided to keep this simple and I thought I'd show you in my Pink Pig sketchbook the examples of work I've done with cut out paper before. Now normally when I do work with cut out paper, I essentially um, get the basic shape down and then use pencils or markers on top to build up my shading. I've used washi tape as accent pieces, but I've never really done a full piece with washi tape. And I think it'd be, you know, it'd be fun, it'd be interesting. So let's get to a blank page and then let's get started. So the first thing I did is I wanted to sketch out a few ideas. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do um, and I figured probably a bigger detailed piece would be easier for me to start off with. After all, if you've never really worked with washi tape before, it is kind of a fickle medium. Uh, washi tape is fantastic for doing like accent pieces or for doing um, like cute like journaling which is what I used to use washi tape for or packaging orders and um, my major issue I have with washi tape is that it doesn't always stick down properly and this is because washi tape isn't as sticky as normal tape um, which means if you are using it to hold down um, pieces of paper when you're doing watercolours it's fantastic because it isn't going to rip the paper um, although it depends on what kind of paper you're using if you're using a really cheap watercolour paper in my experience not even washi tape can save that sometimes um, but my essential plan was I wanted to line out something and I very quickly realised I didn't have a skin tone and since I was using a lot of light colours I decided to go with a light skin tone with my marker as I said, yet again, it's about using washi tape as accents and that's what I've used it before so it was kind of like going with that. I didn't want to go overload with the markers so I just did a bit of shading with markers and later on I will go in with shading again with washi tape and build up those layers a little bit more. I just wanted to get my basic skin tone down and work from there. So yes, you in order to get some accuracy you will have to use a exacto blade or a scalpel um, I recommend a scalpel because it is a little bit more control on the um, thing on the washi tape itself um, but if you are handling this just please be careful with it um, it might be worth taking a little bit of practice with it just to make sure that you use the blade correctly um, I'm still a bit of a noob when it comes to using a scalpel I've only ever really used it when I was using with other bits of paper so using it on washi tape is a little bit different so it's trying to make sure that you line that up correctly so I always recommend if you are going to use a scalpel um, please just be 100% careful, make sure that you take your time with it and if you are um, under the age uh, I will recommend getting a parent or guardian to show you how it works um, especially if you're a teenager, if you are under the age um, I would probably recommend getting a parent or guardian to help you out with this um, just because I don't want anyone hurting themselves and it's all about practice with this my biggest problem is with this is I was kept on cutting into the paper and this is because I kept pressing too hard and that's about control with your paper as well and coming to understand what works and doesn't work. Also as well some of the washi tapes were, weren't very opaque you couldn't exactly see through them so it made it very difficult to cut the lines underneath. 
Yet again, this is a really fun way to add textures to your piece. If you never really, if you want to add textures to a piece um, without uh, going a full blown mile, it is actually really nice. I, I have seen people create amazing pieces of art using washi tape. I just kind of wanted to do someone with galaxy hair and go from there really. It wasn't really planned in any way, shape or form. I was just popping colours on there. To be honest, this week's video, um, I wasn't exactly going to post this up this week but some plans fell through and this is um, kind of like a rushed video in a sense. Um, I did not did want to do something else this week but some plans fell through so unfortunately I didn't end up getting that video done in time but however you know overall this was a really fun video to film and I do recommend it to a lot of people it is a fun way to try out something that you wouldn't normally do now some people will say um, you can't use anything but the washi tape but I kind of disagree in a way um, washi tape when I have used it very little in the past um, it's always been an accent piece so I would do my line work and I'd put my markers down first and then add uh, washi tape as an accent piece on top. I've seen people use it with resin where they layer the uh, washi tape in between layers but they'll use acrylic to paint the skin tones and the basic shapes and then use the washi tape as accents on top and that always fascinates me because I think that's a very interesting way of being able to layer a product and add texture to an overall piece. So after I got my basic shapes down, I was going through and I was cutting these interesting shapes out of this washi tape. I actually got the space one from Amazon a very long time ago. I don't know whether or not you could still get it now. Um, like I said, some of this washi tape is really, really old. I've had it for quite a while. I used to go um, to craft stores and I used to collect them a lot um, because I really found them really fascinating and I just really liked adding them into journals and stuff. I don't really have any of those journals anymore since I stopped doing that sort of thing but it was always nice to add like little cute things to pages and it would just make things pop a little bit more Um, so it was you know it's it's been fascinating that washi tape is really kind of it stayed strong over the years and I remember being fascinated with this when we were in, uh, in college and everyone just wanted to use it to decorate things and make it look nice. I think where I failed in aspects is um, a lot of the textures where I was building them on top. As you can see, they didn't really stand out that much. And I think it's because I used too many pieces that were of the same color tone. Um, when you end up doing this, uh, because some washi tape can be quite opaque, it doesn't actually pop out the same way with layers. Normally what I would do is I would go through and with my white gel pen um, and I would pop those layers up. Um, but for this, I didn't really want to because, like I said, I was trying to use a minimum amount of like pens and trying to use a minimum amount of markers. I just really wanted the focus to be with washi tape um, and try and add that. I think my biggest challenge as well was trying to line up those textures all together because I think that sometimes can be very, very difficult. Hello, Bella. My cat's decided to jump on. <laughs> Bella says hi, everyone. Um and trying to get those layers to match up to for them to kind of make sense and um, since washi tape doesn't always line up um, since the patterns change it was kind of difficult to be able to do this I suppose this is one of the more interesting challenges with your art because you're not you're using an unconventional material um, it's not something that normally gets used within art so when you're using an unconventional material it's about trying to understand how you can make that work for your work um, it's not always gonna work and there are parts I feel like I succeeded in this but there are also parts where I think I failed um, because I had the paper flat down while I was cutting I realized that after I looked at the piece the face facial shape was very very wonky um, 
This is why I always recommend that if you are going to draw, draw at a tilted surface because when you are drawing flat down, it can kind of skew your art and when you lift it up to actually look at it, you can see errors within your work. Um, always try, if you can, to draw on an elevated surface because this can really help avoid those mistakes. Um, it wasn't until like I'd really gone into the piece and really worked onto the piece for like quite a while that I realised that her face was wonky and after that I just wanted to scrap the entire piece and start again. But in the interest of time, I didn't have time to do that. Um, if I could go back, I'd probably change like a different hair colour. I have a lot of light tones when it comes to my washi tape. I don't have a lot of dark tones. And the dark tones I do have are very patterned. Um, so I didn't know whether or not that would work. But there is a lot of things that I could see that I could change in the future. Um, and it's about lining up the, uh, the washi tape as well. I, I found that very difficult. Um, but you know it is a fun challenge and you don't know if you don't if you learn something until you actually try it well I tried this again maybe not um, I'd probably stick to using it for accent pieces now on instead of rather a full piece because it wasn't a huge success but you know you you, you win some you lose some um, and that's really important as well you've got to try stuff out and if it works for you it works for you if it doesn't it doesn't so here's a few looks over the main final piece. Um, I hope you guys like this. Let me know if you've tried a washi tape challenge or you've tried doing art with washi tape before. <laughs> Link them down below. I'd be interested in checking them out. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're new, maybe like, comment, maybe subscribe. But as always, folks, stay creative.